Yeah hi. yeah, hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So the US 30 managed to have another record high close last night as long as the SPX 500. The volatile session that was up a lot higher, so a spinning top formation just above uh, historical highs, 18,284. Uh, we're on the right side of that potential support at the moment, but let's see if that will continue throughout the day. Jumping then onto the UK 100, again grinding higher, long legged like candles all, all the way up here, indicative of um, you know directional trades in both directions. And uh, what you're actually getting right here is um, a struggle to break above 7,000, but will also go inside to the 21 period SMA and um, a flat lining MACD. The other technical indicators are almost a waste of time at this point. This kind of whole formation right here still uh, would send a little bit of warning signs to people looking at a longer term potential trend developing because it's getting very very top heavy here because you've got the um, the hammer frame formation right here but then a strong reversal at the top right here uh, could be almost like a um, symmetrical triangle formation developing right here so that's something to be aware of in the UK 100 is not in the same position as the US 30. Um, Japan to do five some decent figures coming out of uh, Japan regards to GDP I actually thought that might actually have a bit of a negative impact because uh, good news sometimes could be bad news in this instance um, when you think about stimulus and everything else but I think the reality is that the, the Bank of Japan really just don't want to use any of the stimulus until they really, really have to so I think at this stage things are looking a little bit better for Japan valuations are good uh, the economy is moving in the right direction and they still have some aces in the hole still to apply so longer term potential resistance 20,868 um, is in play so have a look at dollar yen it's finally smashed through um, 120 uh, that's probably also another reason why um, the Japan 25 is doing well the yen is retreating uh, and we're seeing the dollar gain momentum actually against the other majors as well against sterling um, dollar and euro dollar as well um, but this is probably the best Kind of push up that we've seen here for some time, uh, getting close to 121 spot 87, trading above both moving averages, and you can see there the RSI is close to getting into overbought territory, but not there yet. So 121 spot 87, longer term potential resistance, and this is probably the, the, the most uh, kind of exciting last couple of candles we've seen in a trend for dollar yen for some time. So moving on to West Texas crude, came off quite aggressively yesterday. Uh, I think this is again on. There's some Chinese and Australian demand um, aspects. There is the dollar increasing in um, value, uh, which is pressuring commodities ever so slightly. Um, breaking below 59.50 was a potential support, so that's been broken. The next potential support, 56, pretty much $56 actually. Yeah, 57, sorry. Um, and we're down out there at the moment. Uh, looking at intraday, it's um, consolidating around that area, but. Um, with all these other technical indicators so already so massively overbought and already coming off, uh, there will be technical selling pressure in the short term. If we do break below 57, look for 54.85 as the next potential support. West Tech, uh, sorry, gold uh, getting hurt by the stronger US dollar had a real negative day yesterday, uh, incidentally, uh, and it's, it's following again lower this morning. So. Uh, I think uh, I think we were all hoping for a bit more of uh, upwards momentum to get this back up towards 12.42. That's not materialised. This is a very negative candle to have bearish engulfing pattern and a follow through today uh, wouldn't be so good for uh, for the gold bug out there. So keep an eye on this. And there are some economic data announcements due, but is mainly UK and uh, the crude oil inventory data. Uh, so you've got the NPC minutes, that'll be interesting for cable um, and UK 100, but not so good for the US dollar and gold and West Texas crude. So looking at your dollar, you can just see the extent of the move right here, the extent of the reversal, as people are getting more worried about the Greeks meeting their debt commitment. 5th of June is when they've got a 1.5 billion euro payment to make, and they say they want a deal, but there's there's going to play close to the wire as ever. So longer term, well, 1 spot 11 is a support. We're below that at the moment. Intraday, it looks weak. I was looking at the intraday chart right now and it's, it's moving lower as we speak. Uh, longer term potential support, 1 spot 0786. You do have the 55 period SMA, might provide shorter term support, 1 spot 08 or 09. Um, but it's not, it's not a nice looking chart. If you're long, you have a dollar. Uh, it's good if you're looking short. And cable managed to retreat up the lows but again a similar type of picture a real aggressive switch around now this is obviously has been quite a strong uptrend 
and the size of this sell-off is probably comparable to the size of that sell-off. So as long as one spot 54.24 isn't broken, uh, and it looks to be that the 21 period SMA is going to be coinciding with that level as well. If cable can, co can uh, consolidate one spot 54.24, it can try and um, remount another attempt to break through one spot 56, but um, it's not looking so good first thing this morning but euro dollar, dollar certainly looks a lot weaker than cable and we do have the NPC minutes potentially providing a little bit of support for the sterling later on this morning. So as ever, uh, keep your eye on the chart forum. Lots of cool stuff from our global analyst team right here. Make insights part of your layout. Be aware of the NPC minutes, of course, and the crude oil inventories. And if I just fast forward on to Thursday, you've got Chinese PMI, German PMI, Eurozone PMI all by market. You've got UK retail sales, you've got US employment data, Philly Fed data, and home sales so Thursday actually has a whole host of economic data so if you don't get a lot of opportunity today and there are things happening in the markets then um, keep an eye on the market calendar for tomorrow because there's plenty going on and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next